Whereas my plan was to go through Denmark and take the ferry to Iceland, I'm now on the ferry to Sweden. The only thing of Denmark that I see are the famous chalk cliffs of Munsklint in the distance. Sweden! So yesterday I basically spent the day wandering around Skane, southern province of Sweden, thinking about my route for the next couple of days and decided to go to Stockholm via partly the Südostleden, partly Baltic Sea cycle route. Um, so that's my plan for the next couple of days. It was really, really freezing tonight, really cold, my toes were absolutely frozen, now the sun is out, it's getting a bit better, but still very cold, very nice camping spot by the way. Stops you from trying to lose your love, to find your silver lining. You left my side, cause mother let you run and hide. And even from afar, I hear you crying. Let me out of this cage before I swell up with rain. Let me sing to old age for I'm done Let me shout to the skies That I'm too young to die And that fate will never stop me From trying Ain't this a nice place to stay the night? Here in Sweden they make the wild camping places a little more sophisticated than in the Netherlands. Just shelter from the wind. Finally found the dream and lived those ties unbound. A quest for peace, the a hope to search for sweet release. You found your feet, but now they are. You'll cry Let me out of this cage For I swell up with rage Let me sing to old age For I'm done Let me shout to the skies That I'm too young to die And that fate will never stop Ah 
I'm now in the pretty town of Karlsham. It's a small island with a fortress over there. Really nice place here. From Karlsham I leave the coast and cycle inland. I follow endless bicycle lanes through Sweden's vast forests. Every once in a while a deer crosses the road. It is still cold, with temperatures rising just above freezing during daytime. I'm beginning to develop a routine. Find a wind shelter to camp in the forest. Get a fire going to warm myself up. And make myself a large plate of spaghetti to replenish my burned calories. I found myself a really nice camping spot here in the Swedish hills. Beautiful view. Very silent area here. Hopefully tomorrow morning I should have the morning sun warming up my tent. Perfect area here. As predicted, the sun is here to warm up my tent. And it's needed because the moist of my breath during the night was all frozen inside of the tent. And now it's starting to cons condensate. So it's actually dripping inside the tent. So it's good that the sun is here to warm it up and dry it out.
So, I'm actually cycling towards the beach again. I hope to reach that by the end of the day. But first, I need to find my way through these forest tracks. Like through pools of these, which are actually quite deep. But, still got dry feet. only cycled around eight kilometers today but I'm really exhausted I had a really good breakfast this morning a good good dinner last night but still it's like the body is completely empty well and maybe I should have taken a rest day uh, because since the first day I've cycled over 75 kilometers each day uh, apart from that day on the boat on which I still cycled 35 kilometers oh but my body is completely empty it's not really getting any better I can just keep on eating calories, sugar, it's like my body doesn't absorb it anymore. But still, I managed to keep moving and I've already, I've already cycled 40 kilometers. So that's <laughs> surprisingly good actually. I manage to keep on cycling and somehow I squeeze out 105 km before pitching my tent again. After another freezing night in the forest I reach Nerd Chipping the following day. 
I do some basic bike maintenance before heading northeast towards Stockholm via Nietzschepping and Södertälje. First little bit of snow on the trip. Uh, the weather forecast for tonight showed around minus 7, minus 8 degrees. So it's going to be a really cold night again. Hopefully my toes won't freeze. since I left. It's been a very nice period, very nice ride so far. Good luck with the weather. Met some very friendly, very nice people on the way. Uh, of course, uh, it didn't all go quite as expected uh, due to the situation with the virus. Um, so now I have to make new plans, new routes for the next few weeks. I stay in Stockholm for a few days to explore Sweden's nicest city. It's a welcome change from the woods and lakes that cover almost 80% Sweden's landscape. I'm proud and glad that I've made it this far already in times where traveling is not as straightforward as it used to be. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel to watch future episodes of my bicycle touring adventure.
consider following me on Instagram at cyclingaroundtheplanet and visit cyclingaroundtheplanet.com for more information about my journey.